Hello friends, hope all of you are doing good. In today's session, we are going to learn about MySQL Community Edition. We are going to install MySQL Server in our PC and also we will do some SQL operations. What is MySQL Server? MySQL Server is an open source database server which will help you to manage your relational database which is RDBMS relational database management system to download a MySQL server you have to go to dev.mysql.com once you reach the dev.mysql.com you can see at the left hand side MySQL downloads click on MySQL downloads and you need to get MySQL Community Server. Once you get the MySQL Community Server, you have two options. You can click this second option, which will give an installer, which is actually giving a zip file. Whereas you want to get a installable file, you can go here to download page and you can choose this installer, the second installer. Now I got my MSI file downloaded to this location. What I am going to do is double click on this MSI file and we will get this MySQL started installing. Let's wait to install the MySQL. Yeah, now my MySQL installer launcher has launched. I'm just clicking on next. I already have MySQL Workbench, still I am going to install MySQL Workbench as well. Next and execute. You can see the progress is going to install. Now the MySQL installation has you can see it has been Workbench installation has been completed and now I am clicking on next. Once you have opened this, you need to install this MySQL server. I am just adding the MySQL server and clicking on next and execute it. So now my MySQL server is getting installed in this PC. Now as you can see, my MySQL server community edition installation has completed and I am just finishing with the configurations. The stand alone MySQL server classic is what I'm actually in ODB cluster. I, I'm not going for the cluster. I'm going to install the standalone MySQL community edition. And the 3306 is my port which I'm installing. And I'm going to the next recommended things. I'm going with the default. Now my MySQL installation requires a password which will allow me to log in to the MySQL databases. So now as I am finishing, you can see my MySQL Workbench and my MySQL Server both got installed. Once the installation is completed, you can go to your search bar and search for MySQL Workbench. You will get MySQL Workbench 8.0 and here I have a couple of connections earlier stored. What is the connection which we have created now? that need to be in the localhost or 127.0.0.1 and the port number we configured it is 3306 which is the default port number i'm connecting this uh, i'm naming this as localhost mysql and i'm going to store my password in the vault I can do a test connection. You can see my MySQL server is already running and it is successfully made a connection. Once I press OK and I can save this OK and if you double click this, you will get your MySQL server opened. MySQL Workbench works as a client to MySQL server. Your server is already running in your local machine and you can connect to that with MySQL Workbench. Now we can create a schema here. Let me just give it as a test. 
Oh, let me give it as a training schema. Training DB. And I choose UTF-8. Here I need to choose UTF-8 and apply. I don't have to write any query for creating a schema or database using MySQL Workbench. Here you don't have any tables so far. I'm just going to create a table to store some data. Let me just create the table name as um, what we want to store is a employee details say employee. So it's an employee table whereas uh, I want to create some database fields ID then which can be an integer then a name then his uh, department and uh, next one can be his um, role okay so all these things got work here 45 and uh, this got an integer you just apply and the create query has already generated by your MySQL workbench apply this finish it you can see your table got created in the left hand side you can see here and you can click on your columns now let's write a query select to select uh, data from the database you need to use uh, select query select star which will select all the fields the wildcard star you need to use for selecting all the fields select star from employee so this is your uh, table name employee you run this by clicking this icon I got, I got some error maybe no database selected so I need to double click on this so that this database will be selected and this database from this database schema from the database schema training DB the employee will be selected now when you run the query select star from training DB dot employee you got all your employees listed here as we don't have any employees in this table we can we can add some employee details here here I'm adding ID as one and the name Arun RS Chandran and then department name software development and then role is lead and then you need to click on apply once you click on apply the query will run and the the data will be generated the data will be saved into the fields now you can see the query and you can use the query also to insert data so here you have to mention the id name department name and the role here what i'm going to do is to and then changing the data software development lead i'm adding one more person just run it and the query has run now you can select the table you can run this select query and you can see the data over here now that's how you operate with a table by creating a table inserting a data and selecting the data now when you want to delete a data what you do is you right click and delete and when you apply you will see this query this query you can use for delete the field or delete a row from the table now we have installed mysql community server into our local machine and also we have connected the database using mysql workbench now you need to learn a little bit on the sql queries like create insert update and delete so these things you need to learn these are called crude operations um, create retrieve update and delete so these are called as crude operations
we have seen how we can install mysql server community edition into our pc and also we connect our mysql workbench to operate with the databases and schema in the next session we are going to learn about how we can connect java code to the database that is jdbc we are going to learn about jdbc in the next session if you have not subscribed to our channel subscribe now so that you will not miss any videos from us thank you for watching the video bye